Isanara Adonai Susini, Balahia Rana di Halea Kunara Amen, 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 I say to you, I am the keys of the boxes of the vaults, chest, nuts, Pandora's, teens, airs, well, pies, etc., etc. Asa. Dila, ako da yara. Asa, in your book, it stated that uh, in Matthew, Matthew uh, 16, 19. This is about the 1 Chronicle 28, 14 to 18. 1 Chronicles 28, 14 to 18. Means Pandora's boxes, chest, and delubio. Let me uh, delubio, delubio, delubio means deluge, d e l u g e, delubio, delubio, deluge. Um, uh, it's also when I said that, uh, you know. I'll just say D E L U G E. It's uh, D E L U G E in heaven means the end of the worlds. You know, the end of the worlds. Which is the meaning of 1 Chronicles 28 14 18. And uh, that is the title of that. Deluge. Deluge. D E L U G E. You know, or uh, in uh, where I am, it's called the Lubius. The Lubius has refined, you know, refined seven times. You know, refined seven times. Um, uh, symbol of the Panduras. The refined ideas, the refined uh, alchemists, the refined uh, talents of gold, the lip. The refined uh, craftsmanships, the refined that been consecrated, saints, prophets, which is the gold of silver over the treasures, you know, the treasures that uh, inside of the chest. As the symbol of 1 Chronicles 28, 14, 18, for the golden utensils. The weight of gold for all the utensils. You know, I I uh, I pronounce it this way, humans, for me not to blaspheme the the tetragrammaton. You know, the tetragrammaton because um, if I say it the other way, it's like I am uh, I am purging myself. You know, because I am that uh, what you call one. Uh, I am that what you call in tetragrammaton, you know, G-O-D. So, uh, the weight of silver for utensils for every kind of service, and the weight of gold for the golden lamp stands, and their golden lamps, with the weight of each lamp stand, and its lamps, and the weight of silver for the silver lampstands, with the weight of its lampstands and its lamps according to the use of each of each lampstand, and the gold by weight for the tables of shewbread, for each table and silver for the silver tables, and the forks, the basins. And the pitchers of your gold. And for the golden bowls with the weight for each bowl. Bowl, whatever you say it. I say it that way, humans. Like I said, I am. Uh, we have different things of uh, how we, have we uh, pronounce things. Because B-O-W-L in heaven means the sheeter. You know? <sighs> and for the silver bowls with the weight of each bowl. And for the altar of incense, refined gold by weight, 
and goes for the model of the chariot. Even the cherubim that spread out their wings to cover Maya. You know, I am, Yaman, I am the cherubims which I said to you, you do not know me. This is how they do to me when I am behind every apostles and prophets. Those times of the ancients, the true prophets of God. You know, they covered me in uh, on the daytime when I am showing up or speaking. It is cherubs that covered me, and if I showed up from heaven, it is the seraphims that, you know, that uh, spread the their eyes through the earth. This one Chronicles 28, 14, 18 is a symbol of the spirits and the humanity to be alchemy of heaven and earth. The, the spirits is uh, silver. You know, the spirits is silver and the humans are the lampstands. You know, this also symbols of the refined gold by weight. The banquet after the judgment. You know? Refined banquet after the judgment is to show the world the Pandora's box was inside. Which is the thin layers of the worlds. Only them can see those what your eyes cannot see. Those who will be with me in the new heaven. For then, him will only show the worlds that you have never seen in these worlds. You know, there are layers of parallels, parallels, which is the protective layers done by the craftsmen. Craftsmen is those in uh, the beginning, uh, the fairies. You know, the fairish humans, a symbol of the frequencies of the earth, the frequencies of the world, the frequencies of your bodies, layers, layers, red layers, parallels, like your, uh, your finger, there is parallels in it. What is the parallels of your finger? There is skin, and then uh, on your skin, on the next layer of your skin is called baltan. It's called Baaltan. Baaltan means um, uh, it's like a very, very uh, thin meat. You know, like um, uh, a grisel. Like a grisel, you know? Like a grisel. And underneath that grisel is the fourth layers. What is the fourth layers? Um, uh, the V-E-I-N-S. V -E After the V-E-I-N-S -E is the bones. Before the bones, there is another uh, bristle. You know, there is another bristle before you touch the bone. That is why the body of the dead, when they're gone, um, when the, I mean, when they're, uh, they went to sleep, the body went to sleep and, uh, and uh, the meat is, is the skins is, uh, went to, uh, you know, went to uh, back to the earth. It's for God to see the layers after the metacarpal. You know, after the metacarpal, because through that He will see if you have golds. You know, if you have golds, which is the cherubim. You know, cherubim. When the, when you have gold under your metacarpal, it is for the cherubim. At, as, uh, it is, uh, as it is the wings of the angels. That was taken in the beginning. You know? You, those times of uh, what you call the, the giants, 
there was also angels in the world and the giants have uh, take their wings that is when the start of the curse humans this story is not in your book the angels wings are cut exactly like maleficent and they sell it because their wings feathers sometimes are of gold sometimes are of um, uh, like the chariot you know like a dust 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 um, a mirror you know you want a mirror as um, pictures of pure golds pictures of pure golds that's when we come to the world to plant golds under the oceans to keep it layers you know to keep it layers golden utensils you know golden utensils to keep the layers of the world through by the weight of gold for utensils for every kind of service depending on the on the layers where we are covering them from human's eyes, we are we use the weight of gold for utensils. You know, for the silver utensils is the heavens, which is the kingdom of God. The weight of silver for utensils for every kind of service is the world. You know, the world. And the weight of gold for the golden stamps, for the golden lampstands and their golden lamps, weigh the weight of each lampstand and its lamps. That means of angels, cherubims, and sipiras. Shiripas, we call shiripas, which is you call the seraphims. You know? The golden lamps is the babies. The weight of each lamp and its lamps, its spirits. You know, it's means of spirits. We the weight of each lamp and its lamps, a spirit in the body and its light. And the weight of silver for the silver lampstands. S meaning of the symbols. Symbols to find the who is the true God that came down from heaven as the light of the world. As second time the bread of life. As G-S-U-S. The test of God. True by those who claims to be light of the world or bride of Christ. When in front of the Father, they will have to speak the tetragrammaton language. And then, they will be thrown into the fire of hells. But before that, it will take years. Babies, their babies, their babies first, before the marker. You know? Remember. God the Father will make them speak the Tetragrammaton right before the eyes of the gods. And they will treat them like dog, um, like gods. Uh, I won't say dogs because dogs has more sense than these humans. They will treat them like um, how they treat others. You know, for God is not what you think we are. We are love, but we hate somebody who claims to be something of what they are not. They will over, they will throw your uh, root and then you each day, each day, each day for your eyes to see what you've done. You know, depending on your sins. A torture. And the gold by weight for the tables of showbread. That's what I've just said. 
a torture. Shoe bread. While you are uh, look like um, a tar, while you are looking like a tar, you know, like a uh, full of tar all over your body, and then they will uh, throw. They, we, um, we will put the bread in the in the dog's feeder, and then that's how you'll eat. As each table. You know, for offending the Holy Spirit. I am the Holy Spirit. You have blasphemed. The advocate. The spirit of the words. The souls of whom you call Jesus Christ. As the souls of the vid. The souls of Jabauta, the bo the, the souls of, of um, what you call Rap um, uh, Raphael and David, David is the same. The souls of um, uh, the, prop, the the blood of the people of uh, you know the people and silver for the silver tables and the forks, the basin and the pitchers of pure gold. That's Claimers of the word of God. You know? You, the claimers of the word of God, like uh, the claims to be Messiah, B-R-I-D-E, Bride of Christ, Apostles, Prophets, etc., etc. When I knew who is who, I am the pictures of your golds. You know, I don't even have no idea what uh, is your world pictures means. Pictures in heaven means uh, ark. You know? Pictures. Pitzel. Picture. You say it the same way. Pitzel. Pictures. I am that. Inside of the pictures. S, the pure gold, the Ark of the Covenant. You know? The golden balls with the weight for each bowl. What is this means? The humans. The humans that humans trampled once upon a time. When you mock somebody, you have no idea who is so. You disrespect God through your hearts when you disrespect others. You slander others. And for the silver bowls with the weight of each bowl. That's means of humanity. That treat everyone with respect or diligent. What is diligent means? This is all I can, I can, I can uh, translate from Tetragrammaton to your world. Diligent. Diligent. Wow. Zealous. Diligent. Energetic. Industrious. Accurate. Active. Hard working. You know? That is it. Hard working. Uh, for the silver balls with the weight of its silver balls. If you are hardworking, then you can be inside of the pictures. That is the symbol of uh, what's inside of the Pandora's box. The diligence. You know? The wicked is, uh, will be at the Venomous fires. You know, just ask how you ma how their mouth is. Slandering others. And for the altar of incense, refined gold by weight, and for and gold for the model of the chariot. Gold for the model of the chariot is the model of the chariot. The the whom you called uh, Jesus. You know? The father of Shapnel Elohim. You know? The gold by weight. 
while in the altar of incense is the refined gold who is the by the altar with in, of incense with the refined gold the sun you know the sun while the model of the gold for the chariot is the god the papa once was the papa I say still, you know, I say, I would say that way, you know. Even the cherubim that spread out their wings and covered the Ark of the Covenant. I am the Ark of the Covenant, which the apostles and prophets carried here and there and everywhere. Word of God. You know, that is the meaning of 1 Chronicles 28, 14, 18. The Pandora's box is the idea of the ten layers of the earth. For the sons of man to see and wonder the whole new world that are coming. Fairies, lands, rainbows, you can, they can uh, you know, that. They won't have a day uh, is spreading uh, their wings all day long. You know? For them to, that is the forever humans, the new whole face. And those who are uh, venomous, <laughs> I'll see you. I'll watch you. Just how I watch the world go by. Except those who have atoned their own sins and have loved me throughout eternity. The gods. 